What's going on everyone? For those new to the channel, my name is Alexander Levine. I'm a personal trainer and fitness nutrition specialist with ankylosing spondylitis. The goal of my channel is to help others with AS. You know, I wanted to share my experiences and what also what I've seen throughout my clients over the years. I've trained hundreds of folks with ankylosing spondylitis, all ages, just diagnosed, diagnosed for 30, 40 years. So I've seen a lot over the years and I really wanna share my experiences and my experiences with my clients because there's been a lot of trends I've seen. There's also a lot of things that I had no clue when I was first diagnosed that I really think would have been helpful at the time. Luckily, I kind of learned these things along the way through trial and error, but I really struggled early on and I wish there were things that were told to me, especially when I was first diagnosed. And that's what I've seen over the years. Early on, I think it's so important to get some things going as soon as possible when we're first diagnosed. So that's what I wanna to share today. What are some things I wish they told me that have been really beneficial for me over the years and what I've seen throughout my, for my clients over the years? And I wanna share a couple of those things now. So firstly, I wish they told me just do any sort of movement you can immediately. So don't try to go do a fitness class. Don't try to force something that's uncomfortable. I tried to force a lot of yoga classes. I tried to force kind of more high intensity exercise because I was told, you know, you have to get moving as much as you can. So I took that as let's go full throttle right away. And my body was not ready for that. Most people with AS in the beginning are really struggling and they're not ready to take on those fitness things like those, the long classes, the long yoga sessions. What I realized is the most important thing back then was find any movement that feels good. Walking, just a couple minutes of something. So you can start building a base, but more import importantly, just getting the movement going instead of trying to do too much where we can't really sustain it over time. So in the beginning, I wish I was told, just do anything you can movement-wise. Swimming, walking, short sessions, short yoga sessions, short uh, workouts, really anything. Go to physical therapy any sort of movement where you're just moving, where you're not sitting, you're moving, and your body is just activated and you're getting some muscles going. So that's number one, just movement early on, little by little, anything that works for you. Number two is nutrition. So what happened with me is I completely changed my diet early on. I went through a lot of different trial and error. I was trying anything early on um, because you know some people online were saying uh, do stuff nutritionally, but no doctor was telling me to change my diet. And actually when I did change my diet and I got my inflammatory markers down, um, I was not given credit for that being correlated. So, you know, that was troubling to me because the only thing I changed early on was my diet and my infla inflammatory markers went way down. Um, you know, maybe it's just liability risk for doctors, not to say that that's why they went down, but I know that I felt much better when I changed my diet. I took on more paleo, keto, it's changed over the years. I have some videos on my nutrition, but that was a huge change for me, getting rid of all the processed foods, the sugars, at least reducing some of that stuff made the biggest difference for me. And it wasn't just about getting my infl inflammatory markers down. I felt much better and I had more energy, especially in the mornings to exercise. So much more energy. It's not just about, you know, the weight loss was important for me too early on, but it was more about I was energized and I wasn't struggling with the fatigue as much, with can really, which can really affect us with AS. So that really helps me early on. So the two things, the nutrition, the movement, and number three is going to be strength training is so important for AS, but it's very hard to strength train when we're so stiff and tight, when we're dealing with joint pain. So what I did strength training wise is I started to adapt my training you know, the traditional stuff wasn't working for me early on because again, that's the SI joint pain, the joint pain, the stuff like the bench press and squats, deadlifts wasn't working for me anymore um, in the beginning, but it works for me now. So how I got here was I adopted different methods early on. I used machines a lot, resistance bands. I really did anything I could safely just to build and to start working the muscles. So find any way to strength train. If, you, if dumbbells don't work for you, try machines, try resistance bands, try body weight exercises, really anything. And I think most importantly, you don't have to work out for an hour. You can start with a couple minutes, start with five minutes, do anything strength training wise to start protecting the body a little more, protect the joints. So three things right there that I wish were kind of highlighted when I was diagnosed. You know, when I was diagnosed, it was mostly just, um, medicine. That was the only talk that we had. Medicine. It was all about medicine. Um, a little bit about low impact movement, but there wasn't enough specifics about how to get moving. Um, 
is it okay if I just do a couple minutes? How do I build it up? How do I do strength training? I wish there was more specifics. Also, I wish nutrition was highlighted because that's played such a huge role for me. So three things right there. Uh, what about you guys? What has helped you over the years that wasn't highlighted when you were first diagnosed? Let me know in the comments. See you next time.